Hello again. In this video, I'm going to cover a couple code tricks that I've been using recently. I'm working on a bigger idea, but I was asked about this a couple times, and it has been very useful for me, so I thought I'd share the info real quick. To start, I'm going to demonstrate how to get all of the Valheim code into a single Visual Studio solution. This makes the code a lot easier to browse and look for specific parts that you want to modify. To do this, we are going to use ILSpy again. If you don't have it or aren't familiar with it, I covered it in an earlier video, but we'll add the download link in the description as well. After opening ILSpy, navigate to your game install folder. You may already have the game DLLs in ILSpy, but if not, go to Valheim Data, Managed, and grab all of the assembly files. Drag these over to ILSpy. You probably won't ever compile the solution you are making here, but if you ever find the need to, there is an optional step to prevent compilation errors. To fix them, return to the game install, and then go to Unstripped Managed and drag over MS Core Lib. After adding these DLLs, highlight all of the assembly DLLs. You can use Shift click, right click them, and pick Save Code. Navigate to where you would like to save the solution and pick Save. After doing so, if you return to that file location, you'll see that you now have a solution file in here. Open this. and you get an entire solution with all of the Valheim assemblies. If you open one, you'll see that you can now access the code, get extra information on the methods and properties, and even use code navigation. In addition to the code export, I also want to go over how to make all of the class members in each DLL publicly accessible. I have been using this approach for some tests on the side and will probably use it in all of my future videos. To start, go to this GitHub repository and download the latest release. I'll add this link in the description as well. After completing the download, unzip the file and move the resulting folder somewhere for storage. To convert DLLs, all you need to do is drag them on top of this executable. I'll demonstrate now with the main Valheim DLL. you should see a new folder appear that's called Publicized Assemblies. If you go inside this folder, you'll find a DLL with all of the internal members turned into public members. Before importing into your project, you'll want to rename this back to the normal DLL name. To show the public members, I'll also open this in ILSpy. If we expand out the assembly and open any class, You'll see that all of the members are now public and accessible within your mods. The final thing you need to do before using the publicized DLLs in your mods is right click on the project you intend to use them in, go to properties, go to build, and select this checkbox for allow unsafe code. Save your properties. And you'll then be able to import the publicized DLLs and use all of the methods and properties as if they were publicly accessible. Anyway, that's all for this one. There have been some hiccups on my larger project, but hopefully it will come together soon. Thanks for watching and have a good one.